G'day Aquarius, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, eh? So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Alright, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. You may not be the only one who's thinking about Aquarius right now. And look, let's be honest, can't cover everybody on the planet in this, you know, every, every single, you know, anyway. <laughs> Uh, okay. We're not all clones, dolls. Uh, all the cards are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what decks I'm using. Okay, clarify card number one, please. Get these clarifiers out and then we'll start the reading. Clarify card number one, please. Okay, something flip. No, it didn't. Okay, clarify card number two, please. And clarify card number three, please. Whoa, that flew out and went back in. Oh. <laughs> Rat bag. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Ooh, someone wants to give it a go with you, Aquarius. Oh, look at that. Ten of cups. Wow. Wow, they want to give this relationship a chance. They want long-term love with you. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. I trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. With the King of Cups and the Magician. Okay, so... I don't feel there's anything, any trust issues here. I just think they're trying to have faith in the situation that this has got a good chance. But, yeah, they're, they're going to keep their emotions under control until they can start to see something manifesting between you two. They're trusting that something will manifest, but they're just, yeah, until they can actually see something growing between you two, they're just going to keep their emotions in check. Well, until they can see that you both wish to grow, you know, manifest something together. And it's not they don't trust you, they just, yeah, I just... Trying to be mature about it. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're going to, to take. Wow, Aquarius. I think you've just about had the best read. But I don't want to jinx it yet. <laughs> Two of coins and the emperor. So they do want to make the effort and take the steps guided to take, but they're unsure if that's going to seem controlling. They're not sure if they should... Yeah. They're trying to stay balanced and not, yeah, 
and in control. They want to make the effort and they want to take those steps. But they've got to keep themselves, yeah, they're, they're just making sure that they don't make too much effort and then put too much pressure on you and they're trying to build something with you slowly so you know there's trusting when's the right time to it's just mature energy it's cautious but it's calm and it's mature and it's doing the right thing it's not it's not rash and it's not um, out of control and it's not, you know, hot and heavy and then gone the next minute. It, no, it's not, none of that. It's a moving slow and steady rinse and race. They want to build trust between you two. They want to have, know if you want to build the same things. They're willing to give this a chance and have this beautiful love connection with you. They want to make the effort, but they don't want to go overboard and, like, scare you away. They, you know, trying to have faith that this will manifest into something more. But just controlling their emotions, not getting too caught up in it before, yeah. It might turn out you both want completely different things or you're not even interested. So, yeah, they're just being smart about it, <laughs> which is good. I like this energy. Oh, look, joy. Give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. We got two. One more, please. Oh, nearly. No, we only need one more. And there it is. Okay. Oh, let's get the clarifiers. Hope you're all doing well, Aquarius. Taking care of yourself. Spoiling yourself. If you haven't spoiled yourself recently, the best you do that now. After this video, do something nice for yourself. Or plan to do something nice for yourself in the next few days. Okay, clarify card number one in row two, please. Clarify card number two, please. And card number three in row two, please. Okay. We've got faith. I'm hearing that George Michael song. Because you got to have faith, the faith, the faith. Ah. <laughs> the hangman. Mm. Different perspective I'm getting with the hangman. A different perspective. And this has got multiple meanings, the hangman. Or as all the cards do. Hanging around a dead end. Different perspective. <sighs> Wrong way, go back. No. See, yeah, their faith. What they believe in when it comes to love. <clears throat> They've got a different belief system, a different perspective on... <clears throat> ah. They just said they're hanging around, having faith and trying to trust that something will happen. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to look too profoundly into this and they're like, <laughs> no, nah. it's just basic. They're hanging around trying to have faith that this will come together. Um, yeah, they have faith it will come together. That's why they're still hanging around. All right. Release. <laughs> oh, they crack me up sometimes. Strength. Temperance. Oh, look, Major Arcana, Major, Major. And Major, wow, another one, Wheel of Fortune. Wow, what's going on with this bottom row? We've got two in the top row, too. So, releasing. What do I need to release? Strength. Taming that beast. Patiently waiting for this to blend together. And the wheel turning in their favour. Release. A 
So you need strength and courage when you're afraid of something. I'm hearing release the beast. <laughs> but not in a negative way. That's why I was laughing. It's a, yeah. Temperance. The blending of this together. This blending together. Patiently blending together over time. Releasing the strength of them having to hold, yeah, because they've got to hold on, hold back their emotions, control themselves and not make too much effort here. But they want to be able to release that holding themselves back and patiently waiting for this to blend together so that the wheel, and waiting for this wheel to turn and for this relationship to begin. Feeling that need to release, that just being able to ah, have this beautiful Ten of Cups love with you, show you that be those beautiful emotions. Mm. Not having to wait or control themselves. Well, you know, um, like. I'm not saying they're going to turn into a wild animal or anything like that. Well, they might. I mean, that might be something that you mm, <laughs> might like. But, um, yeah, having to hold back from control themselves. Don't fall too deeply in love with Aquarius because we don't know where this is going yet. So just keep it in check. Being able to release those emotions. Isolation. That's interesting. And the f Three of Wands. So while they're waiting for this, they um, are single. They're not dating anybody else. They're not seeing anybody else. They're alone. I'm hearing that. Um, I don't know what the song's called. If someone knows the song, please tell me. But I saw it on that mom show, M-O-M. It's an American show. Um... With the daughter Christy and the mum and, yeah, and the ex-alcohol, or, yeah, go to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and stuff. Anyway, it's a comedy. It's a, one of those sitcoms. And Christy was home alone and she was singing that, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> and I always wanted to know what that song was because I'm like, yeah, I like that song. That sounds really cool. Because, hey, there's nothing wrong with being alone. Doesn't mean you're lonely. Like, you know, some people enjoy their own company. <laughs> some people are like having alone time. Time to themselves. It's good. So, yeah, I'm hearing that. They're alone, but they're not lonely. So they're not coming to you out of loneliness. They're not feeling isolated from everybody. They are just, you know, by choice. They're not, they're not playing the field. They're not dating other people. Um, yeah, it's just you. They're interested in you. Hoping that something will come of this. Hoping this will become a beautiful relationship. Um, just waiting to see what happens. And not looking for anything else and, until they see where this goes. If you're not interested... They'll, um, you know, move on and keep their options open to look for someone else that might be suited to them. But it's not like, yeah, their focus is on you. Yeah. So they're single and they're waiting to see what comes of this. Not looking for anybody else. All right. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I think you're in separation now. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. All right, let's keep going. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I said one more. Unrequited love. Let go of control. Okay, stop. So... Okay, so it looks like they've separated from 
they could be separated from a marriage or been in a relationship before. They're not with them anymore. They're on their own. Because it wasn't something stable. So they've retreated from, retreated from relationships for a while while they healed. Because they didn't, weren't interested in unrequited love where there wasn't attraction or chemistry that would keep a relationship going. They wanted something that would just unfold naturally into a relationship. Not going after people they're not really interested in for a fling because they've had already had to heal from something that wasn't stable. So, yeah, the healing. But they're not interested in one-night stands or just passionate connections. They want something that is beautiful. There you go, true love. They're looking for true love. <laughs> Thank you. Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, Knight of Coins... Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. They're not going to cheat themselves by taking a second rate offer. Is what I'm hearing with that bit before I forget when I come back to it. Yes, there can be passion in the beginning. But they're looking for that the best love in the deck. Queen of Cups. All queens are loving. She's the Queen of Love. Look at that cup. No other cup in the deck is like that. That is the best love humanly possible. Yes, there can be passion in the beginning. But this... <sighs> yes, they want passionate action. <laughs> but they're looking for that beautiful love. And stable action that moves forward with stability. Yeah, They're just cheating themselves if they take any other offer. They only want beautiful love. Two of cups love. Ten of cups. Two of cups. Ace of cups. Well, yeah. And then the sun. Yeah. That's right. Taking anything less is cheating themselves out of this happiness. New, beautiful, overflowing love between two people. So, yeah. Anything else? No. Facade. Gratitude, service, and prayer. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, they don't want you to put on a false facade and pretend to be someone that you're not just to get into a relationship with someone. Um, they're not looking for that. They, they're not looking to play charades and play happy family online and, and everything's miserable. No, they don't want that. Yeah, they'd be grateful if, you know, you just speak the truth. Don't put on a facade. You know, do them the service of telling the truth. That's all they're praying for, is that someone's honest with them. So, you know, they'll understand. They'll see both sides of the situation. If, you know, if you're not looking for what they're looking for, that's fine. They're not going to crack it. But they know what they're looking for. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's perfectly imperfect. You know, someone that's perfect to them, faults and all. Yeah. They don't want to have regrets of this facade of it being something that they think will be perfect for them and then it turns out it's not and it doesn't go anywhere. They're looking for the, what they're destined for. Yeah, they're totally aware and enlightened of any trickery. They're very, very wise. Like I said, there's a maturity here. They know their self-worth. They're not afraid of rejection. But they're not, they will reject complacency. They're not going to sit in something just for the sake of saying, oh, I've got a partner. No. No. They're looking for that beautiful happiness. And if you both want the same things and you're looking, you know, if you're both wanting to manifest the same sort of life together, then possibly this could grow into that beautiful, loving, long-term relationship that they're, you know, that they're seeking, that you're seeking. That's why you're here. 
But if not, that's fine. Like, don't... I'm hearing that Madonna song. Um, I'm hearing that, don't go for a second best, baby. That's what I'm hearing. Don't go for second best. Get the get the love that you deserve, the love that you want, the love that you wanted, always wanted. But be realistic, of course. <laughs> it ain't no Disney movie in the real world. Okay. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, yeah, see? If it's if there's no stable action moving forward, look, this one's not it's not moving anywhere. This is what I'm getting. If it's not moving forward with stability, they don't want to be trapped in it. It's just gonna do their head in. What their hearts desire and they're wishing for, they already have self love, they're emotionally fulfilled on their own. But what this is also a wish card is long term stability, long term love. Stable commitment, love, commitment, stability, all that. Queen of Pentacles. All queens are loving. She's the queen of stability. So, yeah. Yeah, they're not going to accept any other offer. The offer has to be a stable beginning. Yeah. Or else they're just going to walk away because they will not be emotionally fulfilled. It's just going to end painfully and they're not going to be fooled into do it, taking that leap into something like that without, you know, without knowing. Yeah, the unknown secrets, you know, trusting their instincts here and protecting themselves. Because they've already had to heal before, but they know what they're wishing for. Yes, there can be passionate action, but there has to be love. None of that player business. <laughs> I just feel this is nice energy. This is beautiful. You've had the best reading. And of all 12 readings, you've had the best reading. And I think I've got Aquarius in my chart in a few different places. I'm pretty sure I have. It's not some moon of rising or Venus, but I know it's in there. I think it's in there twice on a couple of other planets. So, yeah. But this is nice. I might lose some of my <laughs> Aquarius subscribers because you probably gonna find love so yeah all right what would this love energy like to say to Aquarius but that's okay that's what this is all about I hope you're finding it I hope you're finding beautiful love because I'm sure there'll be others that will come and find my channel at some stage and you know then they'll find love or you know hopefully learn not to put up with people that don't deserve your love okay I love your smile. I hope I've made you smile too, <laughs> this reading. Um, they absolutely love it when you smile at them. I'm hearing that when I see you smile. I think, I can't remember who sings it. It's a bad something. I can't remember. Anyway, good song. But that's the song I'm hearing. Yeah, they love it when you smile. Absolutely light up. Now I'm hearing you light up my life. <laughs> That's a really old song. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you see in me. Well, no, it's they don't know what you're going to think of them, is what I'm hearing. Can't give you what you want. Yeah. Yeah, they don't know what you're going to think of them. Can they give you what you want? Or is it, is what they they want something different? They'd like to have a beautiful home with you. I now know what I lost. Well, you feel like someone they could build a home with. And they don't want to lose you. They feel you could belong together. They know what they've been missing out on. And they don't want to miss out on that. No, that's not, yeah, that's something, someone else. That's not, not, that's not nothing to do with you. 
yeah, they don't want to lose out on the chance of possibly having this beautiful love. That's what they want, a beautiful, loving home. And if that's not, if you don't want the same things that what they want, well, that's fine. There's no problem with that. But they're hoping that you do and that you see them for who they are. And if you want the same thing, look, if you want the same things that they're looking for, this will, this will work out beautifully. If you're not, if you're on different paths and you're looking for different things when it comes to love, that's fine. They'll understand. It's, yeah. Yeah, they understand. Because they're looking for the perfect partner for them. Someone who wants the same things they want. And you are the same. You're looking for someone who wants the same things that you want. And both want to manifest it together. So, yeah. It, this all boils down to, you know, do you both want the same things? And are you attracted to each other? They're attracted to you, but are you attracted to them? And do you want the same things? And if you do, oh. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm hearing wedding bells or commitment bells. <laughs> it, the, like in the future, not now. <laughs> in the future. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, this is awesome, Aquarius. I really hope you enjoyed the reading and I made you smile. Um, yeah. Excellent. Lucky you. You got the best reading of the week. Cool. Best to last. Mm. All right. Well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. Let me know if it works out. If this turns into something, I'd really like to know. I'd really, really like to know. <laughs> yeah, leave. let me know for sure. All right. Well, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. I hope this works out. I'll catch you later.